tanned or an Irishman will. Well, there's just of money. That's right, John. If we, if we could find it. But we are not just doing this work because we've no choice. We're doing it because we want to do it, because we enjoy doing it, and because we're making money at it. In 1925, Pat McNicholas left his family in County Mayo in the west of Ireland. Like thousands of others, he came over to try his luck in Britain's roads. He died leaving the company he set up to his four sons, and his eldest son, Tommy, is now the chairman. The McNicholases of Bohola, County Mayo, had a 12-acre small holding. They had 11 pigs, a dozen cockerel, a horse, three cows and an ass. McNicholas Construction now have an annual turnover of 50 million. They dig 1,250 miles of trench and open 100,000 holes in Britain's roads every year. In fact, the infrastructure of Britain's cities is now largely in the hands of the rural Irish. They're just some of the members of the London Irish Golf Society. Most of them are contractors. That's our office. And that's the back of the house. I had a photograph taken in at the back of the house. That's my first half marathon, 150. I've been five minutes later every time since. But uh, I suppose the one most interested me is this. The most interesting to me, not to you. You see, you know how the, 30, 40 years ago they used to have little prints of the little box camera? Well, I had it blown up, and that's my little gang on the side of the road up in Yorkshire. Yeah, frying pan. Are you in there? That's me with a hat. On page five of your chart, you'll see that I've done um, the McNicholas Group turnover bar chart. You can see we've moved from 3.8 million through to 47 million turnover in just over a 10-year period. My brothers and I were all born over here, here. probably <laughs> to save the fair. Lola came with a B, Melvin. The two youngest brothers, Brian and Colin, came in, shall we say, as middle to lower management rather than start off as labourers in the trench like myself and Kevin did. Well, the labour in the activities which we've been taking on this year, you'll see that they're 37.1... My father arrived here with nothing, but a strong will as well down as well, but, uh, and a pick and a shovel. He lived in hostels. He worked all the hours and saved money, and he went wherever the work was. Like a 20% reduction, actually, in, in the labour costs. Six o'clock. If you come straight in from the country and you know nobody, you just go and expect, hoping to get a day's work. It's the only place you can go. You've heard about Cricklewood at home. It's one of the most common place names back home, so they'll go there. Just join the queue and hope that they'll be lucky. Someone will give them a start. These guys have been picked.